Before I came to Christ and became born again, I dabbled in many occultic practices, one of the most dangerous ones being known as the Ouija board. And what I learned from this experience awakened me to the spiritual battle that us as humans are really in. In today's testimony, I'm going to expose the dangers of occultism and show you guys a sovereign power of God, how his word warned us about these things thousands of years ago. But before we get into today's teaching, let's get into the intro. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. This terrifying encounter I had with the Ouija board exposed the side of the demonic realm I never knew existed. Before I came to Christ, I dabbled in many different occultic practices such as contacting spirits through the Ouija board, and I encountered a certain class of demons that the Bible warns us about called familiar spirits. During this encounter, I had inquired about my grandfather who recently passed away in hopes that I could contact him again. I started asking detailed questions about his life that nobody else knew and the Ouija board answered them with perfect accuracy. The demon that was summoned through the Ouija board convinced me that he was my grandfather after answering all of these questions spot on. This deceived me into thinking that my ancestors could be contacted when in reality these were the demons that the Bible warned us about which are known as familiar spirits. Familiar spirits are a certain rank of demons that gather information about you after watching you your whole life. They even study the generations way before you. These are the same demons that psychics and mediums channel in order to give people accurate information about their lives. Demons are way different than us humans considering they are spiritual beings that have been around way longer than we have. They have access to a lot of spiritual knowledge and they also know how to manipulate us with this knowledge. The only reason we have wisdom and power over them is because of Jesus Christ living inside of us. But without Jesus Christ, as all of you know, we were slaves to these demons unknowingly considering we were living in active sin and dead in our transgressions, which is exactly what they would want us to do. Without the Holy Spirit, there is no way that we can defeat them. In Isaiah Isaiah 19.3, God warned us about not turning to charmers that consult familiar spirits because these demons would deceive many into turning to sorcery rather than God for answers about their life. Isaiah 19.3 says, And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. Witchcraft is very popular today because you are getting real tangible answers from it, but these practices are all backed by demons that feed you little truths to put you down a larger rabbit hole of complete lies. They all take orders from Satan, who Jesus said is the father of all lies in John 8 4, 4. When the devil tells you a lie, he is smart enough to reel you in with a little bit of truth at first, because no belief system can have a foundation on just lies only. However, once that foundation of truth is set, it allows more lies to spring forth, and eventually permeate the human mind into adopting a belief system that is against the word of God. We even see this with a lot of Christian cults like Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormonism. These are cults that have their foundation on Jesus Christ, but it's obviously not our Jesus. But because Jesus is the truth, that's how they're able to form. They need a foundation of truth in order to spring forth. You will only find the truth in Jesus Christ because he said so himself in John 14, 6, that he is the truth, not a truth, but the truth. The devil cannot offer you answers that will satisfy you long term. Only God can give you the answers that you're seeking. The witchcraft will never be enough because the more and more you feed into it, the more you feed into your flesh and the more you actually reap corruption. That's why so many people in occultic practices are so depressed they have so much anxiety, including myself back in the day, because I never actually got peace. My flesh was just being stimulated into wanting more and more, thinking that I found the truth, when in reality, the so-called truth that was really lies was destroying me. Once I surrendered my life to Jesus Christ, that's when I actually got the answers I was seeking for. That's when I knew my identity as a child of God and no longer had desires to dabble into the occult for answers, because I realized all of these things were a counterfeit to God's infinite wisdom. The Bible says in James 1.5, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given to him. You don't need to engage in sorcery to gain wisdom. You just need to ask God because he's willing to give it to you with no strength attached. If you're on the path of righteousness and only seeking God for wisdom, I want you to comment down below God gives wisdom. If you guys want to financially sow into this ministry, I have an offering link that's in the description where you can either sow one time or become a monthly partner. Also, if you want cool Christian clothing, I did drop merch, which is also linked in the description. I want to thank all of you guys who have sewn in. It's really helped me expand the kingdom of God, and I'm forever grateful with all of your guys' partnerships. Also, I have a membership program as well here on the channel, and if you sign up to become a YouTube member, you can be on the banner of my YouTube channel, and you can also get access to certain videos early. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out.